Hey y'all, it's Ricky T. I'm here at the Taylor Plantation in beautiful Beach Grove, Indiana. It's January 2nd, 2020. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 2020. We've got another um, somewhat mild day. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Here in uh, Beach Grove, <coughs> South Suburban Indianapolis. As you can see, I've got a slightly different angle on my camera and my daughters are back here trying to sneak their way into the into the picture they love being on camera for some reason i don't know check out TikTok. they got some they're making themselves look stupid to the whole world but anyway i'm coming to you today um i got right here with me i'm going to show it to you cao america as you can see i've been smoking it for quite a while i'm almost down to the band and actually since right about there it's about to hit the band so I'm going to go ahead and take the band off. <laughs> and what Here I'm going to go. do for you today, <coughs> I'm going to give you a quick review. Now this is a tale of two cigars. So just a little bit of history here. So I saw this cigar in June, last June, June, 2019. And I'm like, Oh, I got to get this cigar for a couple of reasons. One, I've had really good experiences in the past with CAO brand cigars. The Brasilia is a good cigar. I love, absolutely love the CAO Nicaragua. <laughs> it's one of my favorite cigars. I was smoking a lot of those last early summer, midsummer. Um, started to run out of them. I still have one left. I'm saving it. So I saw these and I'm like, they're CAO. I like CAO and it's America. It's, um, it's called America. It's got this beautiful red, white, and blue um, a label, this uh, band on it. It's got American tobacco. I gotta try this. This is gonna be great for the 4th of July. I can give these to some of my friends. It'd be really cool, right? So I did what I always do. I go to Cigar Bid, which is the auction site. I put in several really low bids. Normally what happens is I'll have three or four bids and at least two or three of them I'll lose if I don't lose all of them and you just keep bidding low until one falls through and that's how you get really good cigars higher price cigars at a really low price well here's what happened I won two bids for two 10 packs so I ended up with 20 of these 20 cigars of which I had never had in my life so I'm like I hope I like these because I got 20 of them so I really really wanted to like the cigar So I get them in the mail, pop one open, hated it, totally hated it. Um, I proceeded throughout the summer, June, July, and August to smoke yeah. about six or, well, this one is like my sixth or seventh one. I got like 13, 14 of them left for, for goodness sakes. And I kept wanting to like it and I just, I just didn't like it. So a couple of problems. When you look at this cigar, you can see how it's got the uh, barber pole wrapper on it. The bad thing with the barber pole wrapper is a lot of times you get an uneven burn, they canoe real bad. These were canoeing terribly, every single one of them, like big time canoeing, I was constantly touching it up. The other thing about it was, it just had a very strong tobacco. There was really no flavor notes to speak of to, to, to find it, it was just a very strong, unpleasant flavor and very strong. Like I'd get through halfway through this and I'd be like dizzy. I had to go lay down for a few minutes. I'm like, Ugh. so in August, I finally said, screw it. I'm done, at least for now. But what am I gonna do? Cute. I got like 14 of these left. What am I gonna do? I'm definitely not gonna throw them away because that would be a sin to throw quality cigars away. Maybe I give a few of them away to some friends that I at the very least get rid of a few of them. And maybe if I find a friend that really likes it, I'll just give them to him, right? Because hey, the gift of cigar, it doesn't get much better than that. So then, but then I had remembered a while back, I had watched a video that talked about kind of the art of resting cigars. And I had never really done that because up until 2019, I had really never bought enough cigars to really fill my humidor and let anything rest 
I was pretty much smoking. I'd get like 10 or 10, 15, whatever, and I would smoke them. And when I got down to four or five, I'd buy more. That's how I had always done it. Well, since I was getting some really good deals on Cigar Bid, and I kind of went a little crazy in 2019, I actually filled up my humidor and my backup humidor was half full. So I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I saw that video on resting cigars. I'm gonna just forget, I, I got like 13, 14 of these left. I'm gonna forget about them for now. I'm gonna let them rest. My plan was to wait until about April or May and try one again and see if, you know, nine, 10 months of resting helped. And so anyway, I'm just kind of hanging out today. I was kind of, I didn't get a lot of good sleep last night, so I was kind of feeling blue. So I'm like, it's a nice night. Yeah, chewy. The weather is nice enough to smoke a cigar. I might as well try one of these um, CAO Americas. It's been in my humidor for six and a half months now. It's rested for a good three, four months since the last one. Let's see if that rest has done anything. So here's what I've got to report to you. And the fact that it's down to here, you can probably tell kind of what my story is going to be. Um, the short story is, now that it's rested for six and a half months, a lot better. A lot better. It's still not my favorite. It's still one that I probably wouldn't like go buy a bunch of again. Maybe every now and then I might get them just to have something different in my humidor and say, you know, December or January, I'll buy five of these. Let them set. And then in the middle of June, if I'm sitting out here on a conference call for work, I'll fire one up while I'm on my call. I might do that. So it has greatly improved. So let me tell you about it. So I was still having some burn issues, but the burn issues are nowhere near as bad as they previously were. In the past, the burn issues were so bad, I was constantly touching them up and they got to the point to where it wasn't even worth touching up anymore. It was just like, put, put it out. It's not even worth... You know, I'm working too hard here. But this one, I touched I touched it up one time. And since then, as you can see, not perfect, but pretty, pretty, pretty damn, pretty damn good. Look at that. The burn is fairly even. And it's been that way, I would say, since about the quarter mark. So the burn, still not perfect, but a lot better after resting for six and a half months. Also, when I was first smoking these the first two or three months, as I mentioned earlier, there was never really any flavor notes to speak of. It was just a real strong tobacco, kind of not pleasant flavor with nothing else that was really strong and gave me a headache. It made me dizzy. Now I can actually, um, I've actually got some flavor notes. It's actually had a transition or two, um, which is nice. And so here's what I got. So. When I first lit it up, I would call it medium on um, both flavor and strength. I was getting a real rich, earthy flavor note. Super rich. So that just goes to show you, it's still, it's still a pretty strong cigar. Very rich earthiness. And for the first 10 minutes or so, that was about it. Then it started to develop a secondary flavor note of kind of a nice woodiness, kind of a cedar wood. And so as I continued to smoke it, it continued to have the very rich earthiness as the primary flavor note with a nice cedar background. And just kind of the same thing coming out, which was not bad, pretty good. Then I got to just a little bit before halfway and I started detecting on the retro hail a real big spice like breathing it out a real like like it was clearing my sinuses kind of a spice and so i would call that it was like a red pepper like you know the uh, red pepper flakes you get like you put them like in your chili or whatever that was what i was getting like it, would, it had the 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 nice rich earth and the subtle cedar and then at the very end i got boom it hit me with that red pepper that went on for about five or 10 minutes. And then that red pepper on the retro hell settled into a nice black pepper on the tongue. And would, and would kind of 
stick to my tongue for a good 30 to 60 seconds after I completed the, the puff, the, the, the exhale, which I love black pepper. I love the black pepper on the tongue on a cigar. That's one of my favorite flavor notes. So I'm getting something pleasant now. I'm getting a couple different flavor notes with the pepper. Um, that was at the halfway point. I'm right here. I'm about three quarters of the way through. It's continued to have that same flavor of profile. Um, so I'm actually, I'll say it, I'm enjoying it. Again, not, I'm not, it's not blowing me away. It's not like a great cigar, but it's enjoyable. Like I can now smoke, I can now grab one of these without reservation. Now I, it is starting to get a little stronger on the uh, strength. The flavor is still top end of uh, like a medium body, like almost full body, but not quite on the flavor profile. Strength wise, it's kind of hitting bold now that I'm getting lower. I'm, I still don't have a headache. Um, I'm still not feeling any kind of ooh, kind of nausea, dizziness like I was getting when I first bought these. But this, after setting for six and a half months, has turned into a pretty good cigar. So, with that, what I would say to anybody who wants to try this cigar, especially if you like if you like a a light cigar, don't worry. Don't even worry with getting it. You're not gonna like this. But if you like a medium to bold cigar. I would say get a five pack and try one. If you like it, go for it, roll with it, enjoy it, okay? Everybody, everybody's different. You could have three other guys here, we could, all four of us would, could have a different opinion. So if you get a five pack and you like it right from the get go, the day the mailman brings it to you, go for it. If you have it and you kind of have that same experience as me, and you're like, whoa, this is blowing me away to the point where it's not pleasant, put them in your humidor and forget about them for six to nine months and then try again and see what you think. The, the, the whole concept of letting a cigar rest, there are cigars out there where it makes a difference. And this one, it's made a absolutely huge difference, like totally a different cigar now. And so I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna expect it to kind of keep the same flavor profile. I'm expecting it to maybe get a little stronger. I'll probably smoke this for about 10 minutes or so. Again, it's January 2nd right now. It's about 25 after seven. The IU bowl game just started about 10, 15 minutes ago. So I'm gonna finish this up. Oh, by the way, I did pair it up. By the way, y'all know I'm a Redskins fan. Um, terrible season, but we fired Bruce Allen. Um, we got okay. Rivera and Keep Del Rio up. coaching. No. And so I'm looking forward to next year. I think there's been a huge culture change and the Redskins are finally on the right path. But inside my glass here is a beautiful rye called Bone Snapper, which is distilled and aged here in Indiana down in Lawrenceburg. And it's not something you'd want to drink every day. It's a rye, it's very spicy, but I knew this was a strong cigar, strong um, nicotine content. So I wanted to pair it with a bourbon or a rye that had a fairly high um, um, proof to kind of that alcohol bringing you down can counteract the strength of the, of the nicotine. And that has worked out real well. Um, I like to always have at least some bone snap, bone snapper on hand. I would highly recommend having this. If you're a bourbon, whiskey, rye, whiskey drinker, I definitely give this a try to have, again, not an everyday uh, whiskey, but something to have to mix it up. I'm enjoying it. Mm. It's really good. I really enjoy it. And I'm just gonna finish this and see how it goes. But yeah, again, terrible when I first got it. I let it sit in my humidor for six and a half months. Brand new ball game. It's actually a pretty good cigar now. So there you go. That's it. That's all I got for you. And until next time, God bless America.